Fantastic McDowell Mountains. We're at the stadium course at TPC Scottsdale in Arizona. Hello again and welcome Rich Loader alongside Frank Navalo, set to bring you all the action for today's event. Frank, when you think about the TPC Scottsdale, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? The golf course has been radically changed in 2014, but it still hasn't lost its luster. Really, it's just been updated like the game itself for these young, strong players of the modern era. Oh, it looked like he caught a flyer right there, Frank. Well, I don't know what he caught, but this is way too much. Wow, lucky break right there, Frank. Well, that's what everyone else is going to say, except him. Kind of a tricky read. Getting set now over the putt. Tough game, Frank. You can hit 300-yard drives and miss three-foot putts. Yeah, there's the ecstasy, and that's the agony. Even par, currently. So that's a bogey, and now to one over par for the tournament. A lot of great golf early on. Let's get you out to the action at the fifth. It has not gone all that well. Early in the round for our featured golfer, what do they need to do, Frank, to turn this thing around? Well, you can't dwell on what's just happened. Uh, there's plenty of holes ahead. Uh, look at the scorecard, par fives to play, things like that. Really pick apart this golf course. There's going to be plenty of opportunities around the corner. That's in the fairway. And he's set up for his second shot here, looking to knock it on the green. He's safely on deck. He's knocked it on the green, but not in a great position. This is a difficult chance coming up here. Long birdie try. Looks like he just misread that. It's no snack, though. Now, for such a strong man, weak putt. Now I'll have to make this just to avoid making Michael Dublé. Hoping to drop only one shot, this for bogey. So, two over par for the round. Ready to tee off now at the sixth. This is a dogleg left. And another hole that's been stiffened by bunkers on both the left and the right side, uh, really giving you the decision on what club to hit. Should you be bold or should you be smart? Always so nice, Frank, when that gleaming white golf ball is sitting up on those emerald fairways, the way this one is. It, it, the game almost appears easy when one is playing their second shot from the middle of the fairway and you quickly forget how difficult it can be. You look left or right, game becomes much harder. That's an outstanding shot right there, and it sets up a really good look at birdie. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. Makes it and moves to one over. On to the par 3 seventh, 215 yards from that back tee box, Frank. This hole hasn't really changed. Still has that V-shaped green where it's very narrow in the front. Uh, a high-flying shot in here that carries that front edge, and you'll find the further and further you go back there, the more receptive, and that green starts to widen. Well, that one didn't work out. It didn't look bad in the air. It hit the green, but didn't sit. Yeah, it was never going to stop. Nice approach shot. He'll be happy with that. Just want to nestle this one down to within a couple of feet. That is a painful bogey at the seventh hole. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the reed.
Losing a bit of ground now in this tournament with the bogey falls to two over. Frank, the par four eighth. This is a good hole. It is uh, a dog leg to the left, forces the player to go at the right, and uh, this will play every inch of its yardage, which is over 470 yards. Green still pretty much the same with that false front, um, unless there's a uh, flag position in the front. You're really going to have to fly at least 20 yards or so into that green, otherwise that ball is going to run towards the front. Second shot, good look at the green. Here's to be what they call a commercial play, very solid. That's a solid shot here into the eighth hole and a good chance now for another birdie. Right about nine feet here to the hole. Wow, that was so close, Frank. Just time to forget that one. I mean, he couldn't hit that much better. This would give him the par. Frank, that's a par, and onward we go. Don't forget, second round coverage coming your way tomorrow here on EA Sports for our entire crew. I'm Rich Lerner saying so long for now. This is EA Sports coverage of the PGA Tour. Here at the TPC Scottsdale in Arizona, and Frank, when so many people tune in to watch this great event, they think immediately of the 16th hole with all of those fans jammed in. It's like Fenway Park inside the desert there, but it's much more than that little par three, isn't it? It certainly is more than that, Rich. The TPC Scottsdale is a great venue for a PGA Tour event. It's a blend of everything, birdie opportunities, Holes that are fought by water, bunkering that's being changed. All in all, it's a great atmosphere with nearly half a million people that visit this during the tournament week. Frank, I think that's going to the bunker. Looks like it. Playing this par four, still not on the green after that second shot. But still not done. Um, a good third shot, maybe get away here with par. Coming out of the rough and right up next to the hole. Settles in over the putt. That's good work. That's a good par right there. Well, Frank, this is kind of the forgotten par three on the back nine here at TPC Scottsdale. All of that attention on hole number 16. What do you think of the par three 12? This is by far tougher, Rich. Uh, downhill tee shot, especially off that back tee. Bunkering down the left, sort of t it, it, it catches your eye, but it also takes your eye off the water, which is behind and to the right of this green. Got to be careful. This is a real sleeper, this par three. Well, you're not going to make that putt all the time, but you'd like to at least get it to the hole. If he keeps putting like that, he's going to be an announcer in no time. Just a couple of feet. He's made it. Par 3 12th may not be as famous as the par 3 16th, but Frank, you think this may be a tougher and even better hole? We see more bogeys and double bogeys here on 12 than 16 will ever see. And courtesy of the water behind and to the right of the screen, if you're going to bail out, find one of those bunkers. A good bunker player obviously can get it up and down, but it's still no snack trying to record your par 3 at 12. Okay, the second shot now at this par 5.
safely aboard. And it's a long way to the hole from here, never easy. Frank, that's not one you're necessarily thinking about making. No, just a uh, good putt, though. There's no two ways about that. He's putting well. well that was a good-looking putt, just not falling right now. No, sadly, he's going to be disappointed. Putt for par. He needs one. And he has it. A good putt redeems all. At the 14th now, it's a par four. And a dog leg left once again. The bunker on the left side is being pushed out to the fairway to really make you think whether or not you can carry that. It's a lengthy second shot because it's going to play a little bit uphill. And this green is well protected on the left side with the two bunkers. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. And this shot he is on the fairway over 300 yards. Sit down. Get down. Oh, this is this is gone. Just averted danger right there. So close. What is he have all the luck? See if he can go one better than yesterday when he made par. This putt for birdie. Well, at last, a birdie. A very quick exit, uh, miscut. Not the only one there, but uh, surprising. The weekend now to regroup just didn't hit many good shots. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live opening round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. I think this one looks like it might have a postage stamp on it. Airmail City. Yeah, lick it. Send it. Wow, lucky break right there, Frank. Well, that's what everyone 